Today we will be doing oxidation and reduction of aromatic rings, and this is Mercedes Dick. This is Hannah Latif and Carolyn Mazuka. So an easy way we can define oxidation as it occurs in organic chemistry is a decrease in the number of carbon to hydrogen bonds. Now KMnO4, which is known as potassium permanganate, is a great oxidizer and is used in a lot of oxidation reactions. What happens in these reactions is whenever there's a carbon group coming off of an aromatic ring, as long as there's some hydrogens attached to the carbon, the product of the reaction is an aromatic ring with a benzoic acid group attached. The first example was done with a methyl group. If there's an ethyl group attached to the aromatic ring, the same thing actually happens where you end up with no more than the benzoic acid group. And surprise, surprise, no matter what you have coming off of here, as long as there's some hydrogens attached to the benzoic position, you will get an aromatic ring with the benzoic acid. Therefore, if we have a carbon coming off of the ring with three different R groups or possibly a double bond, something that results in no hydrogen groups being around the carbon located here, there is actually no reaction that occurs with the KMnO4 molecule. Ketones formed as products in friedel craft acylation can be reduced to alkylobenzenes by two different methods. These methods are the Clemison reduction and the Wolf-Kishner reduction. Over here we have the general reaction, and this end product is the alkylobenzene. Essentially what happens during these reduction is that the CO bonds over here are replaced by the CH bonds during each of these reactions. Furthermore, these reductions are really good for synthesis problems. The clemesine reduction uses zinc and mercury in the presence of a strong acid, which would be hydrochloric acid. Our end product would be this. The Wolf-Kishner reduction is a method to reduce aryl ketones to alkyl benzenes using hydrazine. The Wolf-Kishner reduction is a method to reduce aryl ketones to alkyl benzenes using hydrazine NH2 NH2 and a strong base OH- with heat. In this reduction, the carbonyl is cleaved off, leaving just the alkyl group, like that. So the main difference between a Clemenson reduction and a Wolf-Kishner reduction is that the Clemenson reduction uses a strong acid, while the Wolf-Kishner uses a strong base. We can also do a nitro reduction using what we previously know, H2 and palladium over carbon, or we also do tin and HCl. The tin and HCl will reduce a nitro group, but it will not reduce alkenes. However, both of these will reduce to an amine. This reaction is useful because since amines are strong bases, they can deactivate other reactions.